Hi friends, welcome to Hoffa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 47 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about pip in Python. So what is pip and what is package, how to install pip and how to uninstall pip, everything we are going to discuss in this video. So what is pip? So pip is nothing but like a, it's like a package manager for Python packages. Uh, firstly, we have to understand what is package. Uh, think like package is nothing but like a your module only. Uh, it's like a it, 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 it will contain all the files whatever you need for your module. Again, what is module? I have already discussed this in our past videos. If you haven't watched my Python playlist from the starting, please watch them in the sequence order so that you will make sense of it. So please watch what is uh, Python module I have discussed in my playlist. So please watch that video as well. And then only come to this video to make you sense for your quick idea as we have said python module is nothing but like a one python file or one code library so in let's assume this is module called demo so module will be saved as a .py extension file and inside this file uh, let's assume i have function one and i have another maybe like a class one one class called class one and i have variable called a so like this you can have n number of uh, elements like functions classes variables constants anything you can have in that python file so once you have all this uh, code library into this file called demo.py the moment i want to make use of this file in in my code so let's assume i am trying to develop a python code in abcd.py file so inside this file i want to make use of this function well then how to do that what you need to do you need to import this module first so for that you need to use this import keyword and import then you need to mention module name right this is what we have discussed in the past video once you do that after that you can use that module name dot then whatever the so if i want to call this function one then i can use module one demo dot function one okay and similarly if i want to create an object for this class one then what i can say i can say demo dot class one constructor i can class like this and whatever the object gets created i can save that object into maybe a uh, x maybe a variable called x inside this x variable i can save this object so like this uh, we have discussed this already in our past videos and if you see this example here this module this python file is available inside your uh, local system only or inside your local solution only that's the reason you can use, use this import uh, syntax directly to import that module but in real time right uh, many package many modules whatever we want to use in real time right those will be converted as a packages and packages will be available in some repository so let's uh, there is some uh, le repository is nothing but like a one online library so let's assume this is like a repository or one folder you can think like one folder which is there in the online so let's assume i created one uh, uh, module called demo so what i will do i will try to create a package for my module and then i will store that module uh, or, or i will store that package into this repository online repository this is called py PI. So this is called python package index so inside this python package index we will try to store all the packages not only you every community member in the python right whatever the modules or whatever the packages they create they will store all the packages into this pypi.org website so think like this is like an online repository so now in my local system let's assume this is my local computer so here i am writing my python code so this is my python file let's assume so in this file I want to make use of this demo dot uh, this demo module or this demo package. How to do that? For that, there is something called pip software. Using this pip software, you can fetch the libraries from that repository or fetch the packages from that repository and install them into local system. So that means demo module or demo package will be installed in your local system. Once this installation done, then inside your Python file, you can use that uh, same import syntax. So import then demo like this you can import that entire module and then start use it so this is what so pip is like a software that will help you to fetch the packages from the online repository and install those packages into your local system once the installation of the package completes that means you have that modules or packages available inside your local system from there you can use the import syntax to import any module into your python file so if all this is not making sense let me go to visual studio code and let me practically show you that so let me use this import syntax there is a module called uh, camel case actually see the moment i type this camel case module i am not a, my intelligence is not able to understand what is this camel case why because this camel case module is available only in the online repository python pypi that means python package index library so there only it is available for that i need to make sure to install this module 
or install this package first in my local system and then I need to use this import syntax. So for that what we should do, let, let's open a command prompt. So it is a command line software actually, whatever I said, right? It is a command line software. So here inside this command line software, uh, inside your system, you should have this pip installed first. So how to make sure whether pip is installed or not? For that, what you need to do, uh, go to this path, cd space, then let me type this, uh, let me use this uh, path one second, I will show you that. So you have to, okay, inside this path. So you need to make sure your command prompt go to this path. And there, once you navigate to this path in your local system using command prompt, here try to see, use this command pip hyphen hyphen version. If you use this, this is going to tell you what version of the pip is installed in your system. If it says I am not able to recognize this pip and all, that means pip is not installed in your system. So if you want to install pip, you can very easily do that. So let me go to this code here. So if so uh, if, if you have this python version 3.4 already installed in your local system that means pip will be there automatically by default for you. you you no need to install if it is not there then only you need to install the pip so to install the pip you need to navigate to this url and install it or you can search in the google like pip download something like that it will take you to this website and download the pip from there so basically if you have seen my previous videos we have installed python in our the starting videos right so and we installed the python 3.9 i think so let me go to uh, command prompt again and let me see what is the python version installed there py hyphen hyphen version so if i use this command it will tell you what version of the python is installed see i have 3.9 which is higher than 3.4 right so since it is higher than 3.4 pip is already installed and I have seen what is the pip version installed also. So pip is there in my system. Now once the pip is there, what I need to do? Pip space install. Then I need to use the package name. So my package name is camel case. So once I hit enter, then what it will do? Pip software is going to find that. Uh, okay, there is a spelling mistake there. So let me create pip camel case. This is the package name. So once I hit the enter here, it is going to take that collection from that online repository python py.org website and it will try to install that package i will show you that website also practically let's wait for the installation to complete see here successfully installed camel case so now since the uh, uh, how to make sure whether this package is installed or not or how to see whatever the package is installed in my local system if you want to see that use this pip syntax space use this list command so once you use this list command here it is going to list down all the packages which is available in your local system see right now all these packages are installed see even camel case is installed there are a lot of other packages which are automatically installed in my system i think when i am installing the python all this came by default so anytime if you don't see whatever the desired package you want to for your code then try to use the pip syntax and pip and then try to use that install command to install the package like how i did it here now let me go to visual studio here now i have installed this camel case right so now let me save these changes still you see that error why because we, ha we have already opened this visual studio code before installing that package so let me close this now and then let me reopen the visual studio code once i reopen the visual studio code the next time i should not see that error so let me wait for visual studio code to open here so so visual studio code is getting open Oh, sorry, I opened Visual Studio. Let me close this and let me try to open Visual Studio code here. Uh, it's my bad. One second. So I should type Visual Studio, Visual Studio code, right? So this is what the software what I am intend to open. So let me open this software now, and let's wait for the uh, demo that we were find to load here. Great, Visual Studio code is installed. Now uh, see if you see this. Uh, uh, demo.py file here so let's wait for the uh, uh, visual studio to code to completely load here so it, it is loading all the extensions and all the packages so we need to wait for a couple of seconds to get to reflect our changes so we have installed this camel case package in our local system right so this python file is going to identify that package and it is going to uh, ident highlight this uh, color of this camel case is in a different color why because my intelligence we are able to understand what it is see it is it is able to understand now now inside this camel case uh, there is a class called uh, camel case so inside this camel case module dot so there is a class called camel case so let me use this class so let, let's try to create a object from of that particular class and let's try to store that object into a variable called c and then let's assume i have a text here called maybe hello mahir basha okay now what i will do 
using this camel case object there is something called hump function available on that class that is going to convert whatever the text you pass into camel case format so let's use this hump function to the hump function i am passing this text variable which holds hello mahit basha and if you see everything is small letter here so let's try to print whatever the output of this hump function here let me save these changes and now let me execute my python dal demo file see now the data is converted into camel case that means starting character of every word is in a capital letter that is called camel case so like this we are able to install a external package using pip and then import that package into my code and make use of it so let me go to the presentation here so now uh, 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 let me move to the next slide if you see here as i said all the packages were actually available in the, inside this online repository python.py.org so if you open this website uh, there you can see all the packages actually so let me practically show you this as well so let me open uh, a browser uh, yeah i have already opened this python.py.org uh, website here see this is the website of who every community member whatever the packages they develop they will install that uh, uh, packages into this online repository okay so even i can search here like camel case so if i search camel case it is going to give see camel case package is available and you can open it and you can see the description of it so all the packages will be available inside this online repository only and pip is going to take those packages and install and what if i want to uninstall any package for example if i don't want this camel case i want to uninstall it so for that what i can do i can use pip uninstall then use that camel case use that package name so once i hit enter it is going to uh, identify the package with that name and then it will try to uninstall and it will ask you a confirmation so let's type ey because i want i am sure i want to uninstall it see it is successfully uninstalled now if i use pip list command which is going to list all the packages in my system you won't see that camel case package now see camel case package is no more now if i go to my visual studio code and if i run this code it is going to fail so let's execute this code once again see it says the module whatever you are trying to refer camel case i am not sure what it is i don't found it and still you see this intelligence is able to understand it why because somewhere it has catched it if i close this visual studio code and if i reopen then you will see all the lines below this code saying we are not able to understand what it is actually okay so let, let's go to my presentation now so i think that's it in this video i hope you got an idea i have explained how to uninstall the package and also i have explained how to list down all the packages available in my local system so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much